Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So sorry, I'm like really sweaty and gross, but I just walked home. Um, but when I got back to my apartment building, this was waiting for me. So we are going to be testing out the new Lash Freak Mascara from Urban Decay. Um, again, just arrived in PR. I don't really know anything about it. I didn't even know this was coming out. So the brush has this curved side with no bristles really short end, a little ball tip. It's really interesting. So I'll be quite honest, um, I am very weary and skeptical about brushes like these. I'm just a huge mascara snob if you've not noticed from my channel, but I'm gonna really give this a go. We'll do one eye and see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, this is the packaging, the mascara itself, and let's just zoom in on the wand. So guys, there is the wand. So weird. You can see there's bristles on one end. This back side here is completely flat. But yeah, let's just go in and see how this goes. So I'm taking the work it side. So it definitely combs through really nicely. Um, it applied a little bit heavily right when I first did that um, initial stroke, but I think there was just a little bit too much product on the wand. Um, let me start again. I got out of frame, but oh, so here's the before no lash no mascara I'm really sorry. I got some on there already, but let's just do the damn thing So it's definitely separating it's doing a really good job at getting at the base of the lashes I'm now going to flip over to the like pointed side. And that's definitely really good at getting in the outer and inner corner. Cool. So far I'm liking it. But now I'm going to flip to the curved flat side. And apparently this is supposed to help with just curling the lashes. Oops. Okay, that I don't like. That ends up flattening the lashes down, and they're not as, like, wispy and combed out as I would like them to be. Yeah, I don't think I like that backside. Okay. Okay, so here is the mascara on. It definitely gives a ton of volume. My lashes look really, really thick. Not necessarily the most lengthening. Um, I'll do a second coat in a second. You guys can see this eye is a little bit more separated. I'm gonna go back in for a second coat on this side. I don't know. So I do really like the formula. It's very thin, it's wet and easy to work with, but the brush, I'll be quite honest guys, it's a little bit hard to work with. And now applying a second coat, I don't really love how it didn't separate as much as I would have liked to. So. Initial, initial thoughts. Really enjoy the formula. I like the first coat that goes on. I think this is really good for lengthening and just getting that beautiful separation. But the more I go in with it, the less I like it, I'll be quite honest with you. But this was fast. So if I took the time to separate this out with a comb, hold on, let me do that. I'm just gonna take a lash comb and kind of separate, brush out any clumps. This is something that I would do anyway regardless of the mascara that I'm using. So I'm not really gonna nick points for that. See, yeah, I like that better after I've combed it out. It's just a little bit more flattering for my eye shape. And now that that's combed out, I probably could go in for a second layer and have a little bit more success, especially on the left eye. So let me do that now. Okay, um, again, it clumped really easily. I got a lot on my lid, which is not the mascara's fault. I always do, almost always, no matter what. 
I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more, but I'm gonna let this fully dry and I will do check-ins throughout the rest of the day. I'm gonna wear this for as long as I possibly can to see if it smudges or anything like that. We did not put a primer on beforehand or, or curl the lashes, so I'm just gonna see how this wears just as is straight out of the tube, see how many hours I can get out of it. Formula does not claim to be waterproof from what I can see. It is up to 20 hour wear, sweat proof, smudge proof, and flake proof. But it does not say waterproof. Sweat and waterproof are not the same thing, just so you guys know. So I'm thinking that this probably should be fairly easy to remove. That's one of my biggest hesitations when it comes to waterproof mascaras. I can't stand them for that reason. I just don't want to have to be sitting there forever taking them off. My eyes are pretty sensitive and I just... I want it off as soon as I'm, I get home. Uh, so I'm gonna test this out, see how long wearing it is. I'll do check-ins and we'll see if it still looks like this by the end of the night when I'm ready to wash this off. And yeah, all right. So again, just first initial impression. I really enjoy the formula. I just wish the brush was spiked on both ends. I don't really love the whole aspect of it being curved. I think, I'll be quite honest, a lot of the time when mascaras like this come out, they are more gimmicky or just for I don't know, just for wow factor. Um, granted, yes, I know Urban has a great uh, product development team and I'm sure this obviously was tested many times before it was put out, but I like to say this with every review that I do, and this is the case for every brand, there's always gonna be hit or miss products. From just my first, first impressions that this is a little bit of a miss, I think the formula is great. It's probably my favorite that I've used from Urban, just on first application, I feel like it went on the easiest. Um, perversion, I find, is sometimes a little bit too thickening. I I don't always love volumizing mascaras, so I like that the freak freaky, what is this called? Lash Freak is a little bit of a wetter formula and consistency. It's a little bit thinner, so it goes on a little bit smoother. You have more play time with it, but again, just that brush isn't ideal. And then we kind of have the in-between of both. So I love the brush on Perversion Waterproof. I do think it's different than the original Perversion. I think it's a little bit more wiry, so you get a little bit more comb through. The formula is very thin. It goes on a little bit smoother than this guy right here, but not as thin as this. So they're kind of, they all have great things about them, um, but then this one I find is too difficult to get off because again, it's waterproof. So, so far, this one is winning in formula among the current mascaras in the Urban Decay family, family, <laughs> in the Urban Decay fam, but unfortunately it is losing on the brush and aspect of ratings as it goes as far as mascaras go. So that said, I don't want to say this is a failure that I don't like it yet. We will again need to see how this wears throughout the day. That's kind of the testament to how our mascara applies. I can always make this work if I just learn to use the brush and get a little bit better with it. Um, it was a little bit frustrating just from first application, but most things are when you're using it for the first time. So we will wait and see. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit and yeah, so see you soon. Um, so I'm doing a final check in now with you guys. As you can see, the mascara pretty much looks exactly the same as when I first put it on. Um, and I did actually just fall asleep for a little while and take a nap, so I was hardcore face sleeping in that pillow, but it looks good. So yeah, that about concludes this video. I'm gonna go wash my face and take a shower. Um, and I'll do, I guess, one final, final check-in after I'm done doing that, just to let you guys know how the removal process was, but so far, I'm actually pretty impressed. Again, I think I might have to do a little more finessing with the brush to get it to look how my mascara normally does, or I might even use a different wand. I knew that seems super high maintenance, but I don't really like letting mascaras go to waste, especially since I use them so much. Oh yeah, let me go wash my face and then um, I'll be back. Okay, so I just took a shower. Let me show you guys. So you guys can see now that I've washed my face, all mascara is gone. There's no residue. I don't have any of that raccoon eye underneath. Um, so I'm actually really impressed with the way it removed. I didn't even use a makeup wipe or cloth to take off the mascara. Just got a foaming cleanser, really emollient and sudsy in my hands, and then just kind of went over until it was dissolved and it came right off. So removal process on this mascara is A+, plus. give it a 10 out of 10 for that. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't know guys, it's a weird one because the brush is very strange. It's one of those mascaras where I feel like the formula is excellent, but I don't love the wand. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to keep at it, keep using this one, wear it for the next few days, but I don't know necessarily if I'm going to use the brush that comes with it because 
it's just so weird. So I'm not sure, <laughs> but I do like the mascara. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I do recommend it. This is a really weird review because I, I'm kind of torn. I think it looked really pretty when I first started putting it on and maybe I just did too much, so I'm not gonna say it's a bad mascara. I'm also not gonna say it's amazing. It's, it's a very weird first impressions. I don't know. As a brand, I absolutely adore Urban. This just particular product wasn't necessarily a hit for me. I feel bad saying that because I know it was a new launch, but um, that's gonna happen, you know? I don't love necessarily the, um, like, the little baby naked palettes. I don't really love those, but the naked palettes themselves are amazing. Same thing with every brand. There's gonna be something that you don't love and things that you absolutely do, so if you guys end up trying this and you love it and the wand is revolutionary and your favorite thing ever, that is awesome. Like, I am so excited for you that this can be your new, like, go-to everyday mascara, because that's going to be the case. My favorite mascara of all time, which is the Ilia from a clean beauty brand, some people don't like it. A lot of people actually really don't. Um, Dior Iconic is a classic that everybody loves. I can't stand it. So, mascara is one of those things that's going to be super personal, so if you guys try this out and you love it, please let me know in the comment bar down below. Show Urban Decay some love, uh, and yeah. Okay, so, not the end of the video. I lied. I decided to actually wear the mascara the whole day at work today, and I did not film check-ins. My bad. I'm real sorry. But, it looked amazing. Jess! I don't know if you can hear. Did my mascara look good today? Hold up. Um, so yeah, I decided to actually wear it all day. I did a wear test, but forgot to do check-ins. So my roommate, you can hear her. Uh, did my mascara look good? Looked awesome. All day? All day. Did it flake at all? No, it did not. Did it curl, stay curled? Yes, it did. Yeah. And then it took me two minutes to remove, so fucking great. Thank you, Urban! We love you! Um, but yeah, so that's my actual final check-in because I said it yesterday. I wasn't sure how I felt. I love it. Uh, formula's great, not gonna lie. Like, that back, completely flat edge. I tried to use it again. It doesn't make sense, like, I'm sorry. And I mean this really kindly. I just don't understand the brush. And I mean, again, as I mentioned in my previous section, that's gonna happen for all wands. It's either the formula or the brush that's gonna be either a winner or a downfall in any mascara, regardless of the brand. So anybody watching this being like, oh, you're being so mean to Urban Kate. No, I'm not. I love Urban, they know that. I have been a big fan for years, and I've also been very honest on my channel. If the thing that they send me that I don't like, I'm going to tell them, and brands, don't get mad at us when we say that. I think there's this huge thing where subscribers and you guys watch videos and you're like, oh wow, you just badmouth that product, they're gonna hate you now. No, like, how do you think anything gets improved? It's when you hear feedback. So, Urban, I love the bottom half of the wand, I think it's ingenious, but the back side, if you put spines in there, I think it would be the best mascara that I've ever used, truly. Uh, but yeah, so that's my final, final thoughts on the Lash Shriek, newly launched from Urban Decay. I'm actually not sure when it launches. I did get it in PR. We have not gotten it at Sephora yet, so it'll be coming out soon. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I beat an actual, like, hard launch. So yeah, I'm gonna upload this video tonight, so I hope you guys check out the mascara when it does launch, either in-store or online near you. Um, I give it a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. You just gotta make sure you're going in slowly, make sure you're wiping off the excess mascara. Um, there is a channel where part of the wand is hollow. I don't know if you guys remember the butterfly mascara from L'Oreal that came out years ago where there's like a hollow part to hold more formula. This has that as well. I personally find that it holds a little bit too much so I like to scrape that off but other than that it makes it just gorgeous. My lashes looked so good today. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you will have seen my story during the mascara. But yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching Urban Decay. Thank you to your PR team for continuing to send me new launches. I appreciate it so much. Uh, you guys have been one of the brands that's really been consistent with my channel. You've sent me new launches pretty much every time they've come out, which I really heavily appreciate. I actually do like pretty much everything. I mean, when I don't, I tell you guys and I'm very honest. Um, and you've kept me on your list, which is very important, I think, as a someone who wants to start my own brand. I've seen so many videos where people were like, well, I said one bad thing about this and the brand dropped me. I think that's total bullshit. If you're a brand like that, that's just, you, you can't, like, you don't know how to take anything. Like, you gotta be able to take some tough criticism to grow and make your products better. All right, that's it. I'm gonna end this. Sorry, I have no clothes on, but uh, it's all right. <laughs> okay, thank you guys again. I will see you on my next one, Urban. Thank you, and until then. Bye, you.